Hi, I'm Richard, and here's how to have Inkscape trace it for you. The first step is to select a bitmap that you want to convert to vector art. It doesn't matter if it's a GIF, a ping, or a JPEG, and it doesn't matter if you made it by using a scanner, a paint program, or a digital camera. You just take them, drag and drop them right in to Inkscape. The thing that does matter is what the picture looks like. If it looks simple, it's bound to be simple to trace. So let's make this a little bigger so we can see what's going on. And trace bitmap is right underneath path. The default settings are to make a single path and to use the brightness cutoff option. And of course, this threshold of 0.45. Let's see what that looks like. Here's the preview. Looks good. And um, here it is side by side with the original. The vector art, the bitmap. Um, fabulous. I'll get rid of the original. Now we're going to try the portrait. Go to path trace bitmap and try the same settings some parts are missing so if I change the threshold to a larger number it will fill in some of the detail I think that might be too much detail so go back down to 0.75 looks good Now there are some differences between the original bitmap and the um, um, vector outlines that have been traced. Um, but, you know, it looks kind of cool this way. I think it's a good thing that it changed it. So I'm just going to change the color. And this color might be better than the original. And get rid of the, the bitmap. Let's see what the photo is like scanned. path, trace bitmap. This time we're going to use multiple scans to create groups of paths. Each one is going to represent either a brightness step, a color, or a shade of gray. I'm going to go with the colors. This is what it looks like, but if you want more detail, you change the number of scans to a higher number, like 20. And that looks really nice, but it's a little blurry because of the smooth function which blurs things before the scan to help make file size small. I'm going to uncheck that, update, and see what I've got. This is the vector tracing right next to the photo. Looks great to me. That's all I'm going to show you for now, but if you're interested in learning more, just go up to help and click on the Inkscape manual. Thanks for watching and have fun tracing.